Welcome to our lesson on expanding brackets with thirds. So to do this lesson, you're going to need to know how to simplify with thirds. And you can check out the link in the description for that video. So I'm going to begin with question A, where we have four lots of root three plus two. And to expand these brackets, I'm going to multiply everything on the outside, which is a four, by everything on the inside. So we begin with 4 multiplied by root 3, which we can write as 4 root 3. And then we have a 4 multiplied by the 2, which is 8. And because root 3 has no square factors, this is as simple as it can be written. So we have 4 root 3 plus 8. And the question B, we have root 2 on the outside with root 12 plus 2 on the inside of our bracket. Again, we'll multiply the outside term by every inside term. So we have root 2 times root 12, which is root 24. 2 times 12 is 24. And root 2 times 2, which is 2 root 2. Now we can simplify this third here because it has got a square factor, which is the square root of 4 times the square root of 6 plus this 2 root 2. And the square root of 4 is 2, so we have 2 root 6 plus 2 root 2. Do you want to try and expand and simplify question C? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So again, we're going to multiply the outside term by each of the inside terms. So we have root 7 squared, because we're multiplying it by itself. And then root 7 times the 3, which is 3 root 7. The square root and the squared will cancel. So we're left with 7. And the square root of 7 has no square factors. So it is 7 plus 3 root 7. Okay, let's move on to question D. So for question D, again, we're going to multiply each of the outside terms by each of the inside terms. So we'll begin with root 6 multiplied by the 1. And this is root 6. And then root 6 multiplied by positive root 2, which is 6 times 2 is 12, so root 12. And now we have negative root 3 times 1, which is minus root 3. And negative root 3 times root 2, which is negative root 6. And you can see there's positive root 6 and negative root 6 will cancel to make 0. And we can simplify root 12 using root 4 root 3. Take away this root 3. The square root of 4 is 2, so we have 2 root 3 minus root 3. So here we have 2 root 3s, we're taking 1 away, so we have 1 root 3 left. Do you want to try and expand and simplify question E? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So finally for question E, we're going to multiply root 5 by root 5. So we get root 5 multiplied by itself, which is squared. Root 5 times negative root 2, which is negative root 10. Root 2 times root 5, which is positive root 10. And positive root 2 multiplied by negative root 2. The positive and the negative make a negative root 2 squared. And you can see that the square root and square will cancel on here. So we have the 5, take away the 2. And this negative root 10 and the positive root 10 will cancel to make 0. So they will go. So we're left with 5 take away 2, which is 3. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.